doing good. I hope you're doing well. Uh, yeah, I am doing really well, actually. Just got off work, enjoying the limelight. You know, I uh, have a couple of vodkas in me. So it's all right. Yeah, we're doing good. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Hey, uh, we're not actually a Wells Fargo customer, but uh, my wife's been receiving uh, um, emails from, uh, or t text messages, actually, from uh, uh, Fargo uh, 35454. Uh, three. Okay. Yeah. Lots of numbers. All right, so yeah, so what this means is that uh, that since you don't bank with us, those are fraudulent phishing attempts, people trying to get your information. Um, they don't they don't necessarily know that you don't bank with us. They're just kind of picking names out of, you can imagine, like picking names out of a raffle, and then they send it off in, in hopes that they do bank with us and that you'll you give them your information. Um, if it's any of them pretending to be Wells Fargo, I can I would ask you, you don't have to, but in order to help narrow down on people pretending to be us, we have a email address that's tied to our fraud department uh -huh. that we ask people to send stuff like that to, like a, a copy of the text message or a okay. phone number or anything like that, so it helps us narrow it down. Oh, fantastic, actually. That's Yeah, that's I've, I've been getting a couple of them the past two or three weeks, and I've just been deleting them, but I'll definitely... Um, look at that email and I'll send them over to you. Yeah, absolutely. Whether it be whether it's a phone call pretending to be us, whether it's a text message or even an email being sent to you pretending to be us, all three options can be sent to the email address that I'll give you that's linked to our fraud department. Awesome. That's fantastic, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, we've <laughs> Yeah, we're just sitting here going, Okay, you know, might as well give customer service a call and see and see if they know what's up yet. Yeah, absolutely. Um, when you're ready, I'll give you that email address. Okay. Go ahead. All right. It is report, R-E-P-O-R-T. Yeah. Okay. And it's fish, P-H-I-S-H. P-H-I-S-H. Okay. At wellsfargo.com. Yeah. Awesome. awesome, man. I sure, I sure do appreciate that. Yeah, we appreciate you guys calling in. We definitely yeah. are trying our best, and that's what the email is for, so that we can help narrow down people trying to pretend to be us and, uh, trying to get people's money because even if even if you don't bank with us they'll if you try to contact them or something they'll come up with some excuse like oh well you have an account like it's just, you have an account can you give me some of your information and find out what's no that's a lie yeah exactly yeah. calls that uh saying they're from us any text messages or any emails send it all to that email address i gave you gotcha will do man I yeah, that, that, uh, we actually put all of those, uh, in, any information you put into the email, that goes under our investigation for our fraud team, so we can hunt these people down and stop them from doing what they're doing. Cool. Fantastic. All right, man. Well, you have a wonderful day, and thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for calling in to Wells Fargo, and you, uh, both of you have a great day your, uh, as well. All right. Thank take you. it easy, buddy. All right. Bye-bye. Right, bye. Yeah, so uh, just got a just got an email from a scammer, and uh, pretty much, yeah. I mean, the thing was is that they texted us from an email, which was yeah. Go ahead and operate that. Well, because right here, I don't know if you can see it on the. Let's just roll it a little bit. Well, I don't know your thing. Figure it out. There, I'm working on it. They texted, there we go, from an email. So that's how we knew that it wasn't real. And then they've got the link and it just says account locked and it's like, I don't have a Wells Fargo account. Thank you very much. So that's all I have to say about that.